Hi Pisces, this is your horoscope for January 2017. Thank you for joining me. It's really nice to be with you today. Now you're really going to be in touch with your own feelings here in January. You've got a lot of planets in Pisces in your first house, but there's also a real sense of being ready to work and especially working at realizing hopes and dreams which may have gone by the wayside in 2016 and having the kind of faith and enthusiasm and courage to pick those up again and to try and realize them and to make them happen. So you really put the past behind you, you're really looking at the future in a very optimistic and positive way and you're not afraid of putting in the work. There's a lot of kind of earthy energy here which is driving you towards your own personal success and the things that are meaningful to you. So from the 28th of December 2016 until the 14th of January 2017, the Sun in Capricorn conjuncts Pluto in Capricorn in your 11th house. Now the Sun is your identity and it's how you identify and in Capricorn you really see yourself as someone who is practical and grounded and getting things done. Pluto is about new life coming in, new energy, it's the phoenix rising from the ashes and that influences your sun. So that gives you a great sense of power and even things that may have not worked out in the past will be, will seem accessible and you'll look at them and say, well, you know, I'm not reading too much into that. In the past it may not have worked out but I'm willing to have another go. Now on the 3rd of January, Venus, the personal planet of love, beauty and creativity moves from Aquarius in your 12th house and it moves into your sign of Pisces in your first house. It's in good company in that first house. You've got your south node, Neptune, Mars, the moon and Chiron all in Pisces in that first house. And what that means is that you're really loving and in touch with yourself. You know what you want, you know how you want to move ahead. You're sensitive to your own needs and you're willing to transform things that haven't worked and to really try again to see them succeed. So you're optimistic to the end and that's really positive because there's a nice kind of karmic balance here. You know sometimes you can be super optimistic and try different things and they don't work out and it's like huh, you know I was optimistic but what happened? In this case you're optimistic but there's real potential for you to succeed and that's in all areas of your life. If you decide that the big focus is going to be career and revitalizing that or even finding a new career or taking action in terms of your finances and turning around five years of debt or whether it's making a decision to change your behavior in relationships or the way you work with your colleagues whatever your personal hopes and dreams are that's what you ought to focus on because really the world is your oyster and whatever your personal hope and dream and desire is that's what you're being supported in changing. So this is a very kind of personal experience and that's why it's so important for you to listen to your own guidance which says this is the area of importance rather than listening to other people who say well in January you should be looking at your job. Because if, if you're not particularly interested in that and no one can force you to be interested in things then that energy won't be accessible to you. You have to focus on something that is truly meaningful to you on a personal level. Now the, the energy of that gets stronger and stronger and stronger as the month goes on. From the 4th of January through until the 19th, Venus and Neptune start to conjunct in your first house in Pisces. And really important, listen to your intuition, listen to your guidance and what that's telling you. That is so important. Your intuition is going to be heightened, you're going to be feeling creative and you're going to feel like you can connect with yourself in a way that almost you've almost never been able to okay and that's not um, you know there's a meditation technique um, developed by a guy called Ramana Maharshi who was like a um, a saint in India and um, the meditation is who am I and all you do is you you ask yourself that question over and over and over and as you keep doing it you peel away these layers okay I'm not that I'm not that and then you keep going down and down and down until you really get to a place where you understand things about yourself that you never would have otherwise and some people are really afraid of that because what if I discover something terrible you know that is not the case so you've got Neptune and Venus supporting you in Pisces this whole process is going to feel nurturing and loving and comfortable and easy Mercury the communication planet 
has been in retrograde since December 2016. It stays in retrograde until the 8th of January 2017. But on the 5th of January, it continues its kind of move backwards and it moves out of Capricorn and into Sagittarius in your 10th house. So from the 5th to the 8th of January, you may get some inklings and some insights that are particularly related to your career. Not money opportunities and how to make uh, improve your finances, but how to find a way forward when it comes to your career. So this is particularly useful for people who may feel stuck or who may feel uninspired or um, undecided about what direction to take. Really tune in from the 5th to the 8th and you'll get some guidance that really may open up a door in terms of this is your life purpose and here's the way forward. On the 8th of January, Mercury then goes direct. Mercury, as the communication planet, is much happier and is much more helpful when it is direct. When it's in retrograde, things become stifled. In your case, that's helpful because rather than go, 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 you're taking that safe space from the 5th to the 8th to look at your options and to mull them over a little bit without just rushing off and taking the action. If you do want to now take action after that three-day period on the 8th, that's much better. You can apply for the new position. You can say, okay, I've decided. I'm going to start the new business. I'm going to sign the contracts, all of those things. On the 13th of January, Mercury moves forward again and it goes into Capricorn. And that gives you that drive and that energy combined with the Sun and Pluto in Capricorn to really just think about work, to think about it on a practical level. What can I do today? I've got seven hours. How am I going to fill them? Which, am I going to write CVs? Am I going to hand them out? Am I going to do applications? Am I going to... Whatever it is, you're going to think as... I mean, I don't know. As grounded as... Um, as grounded as a factory line worker. I mean, it, there's no real imagination or doubt or or distraction here you're really focused on the job at hand and you can really just repetitively take action to make it happen so you're like a machine here which i mean in a positive way that you can get things done and that you can be very productive now around the same time on the uh, 12th of january We've got the full moon happening in Cancer, and that's in your fifth house. So this is totally unrelated, but you'll get a nice surprise coming to you, either in the, in the area of romance or your children. Something positive will happen. It's at the, at the um, degree 22, which is a master number of the builder. So this isn't going to be just something forgettable, something quick and temporary. This is going to be really good news that's going to impact you positively for a while. So it could be someone proposing to you or a child graduating from school or getting into college. Some sort of good news comes your way. And that's nice because you have been working so hard on yourself and seeing what you're going to do. It's nice to kind of get some outside validation or like a present that's going to help you through this. Because the thing is, yes, you're going to make a lot of um, progress here in January, but it doesn't feel super easy. You know, asking these kind of questions and making changes, it's never a picnic. And um, that's really going to support you and give you that boost to continue on. And that energy then continues for the duration of January. So that's really important for you to focus on. The, big, the next big shift happens on the 28th of January when the new moon happens in Aquarius and now you focus on how you can get your uh, message out there and how you can actually get other people on board. On the same day you've got Mars going into um, Aries in the second and the big focus now is on um, implementing these career kind of goals and or other dreams that you've kind of decided on. But now going into February, there's going to be a focus on finances and prosperity. That's going to become a much bigger uh, priority in your life. So use January to really do some soul searching and to resuscitate some of these dreams because you do have this space to, um, to look into that and to create that. And it's whatever you want. It's whatever your personal interests are so you start the year on a very personal kind of um, slow basis. You don't go charging forward. You take your time with this 
and then it looks like February is much more all systems go and you charge forward. So in your case, Pisces, the new year kind of starts here much more in February than it does in January. So give yourself the time and if it feels like, oh my God, nothing's happening here, why are things so slow? Then just be patient and just realize that you're being given this time to really bring some of those hopes and dreams back to life and it's important that you do so. So I hope that gives you something to work with. If you would like a private reading based on your personal horoscope, which I can draw up using your place of birth, date of birth, and time of birth, then please get in touch with me via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, and I'll speak to you next month.